Hello and welcome back to another Let's Play Deus Ex with myself, Raphaelium. Last time we finished clearing out the Versalife facility and today we're going to meet back up with Tracer Tong and see what we're going to do next. So let's just uh, check our upgrades, uh, not upgrades, our objectives. Go to the temple. Please, look around. Let us be quiet. Agent Denton from America has retrieved the software component. Please accept our gratitude. It is my honor. Begin. As the faces of a perfect breed are reflections of one another, as they join together to make a perfect edge, so we shall form one blade, not the male and female swords of Ganjiang, one which must avenge the other, but one weapon, precise in its purpose, though wielded by many arms. And much as the steel sharpens its edge and anneals its own surfaces, let us preserve, together, the form of our traditions. The only enduring work of man, that which is born again with the next generation. Forever. Forever. Again, accept our thanks, Mr. Denton. You will have to join us for drinks at the Lucky Money later tonight. In the meantime, Mr. Tong wants to see you. Thanks for the offer. Maybe I'll stop by. So, let's go back to Tong's compound. I cannot believe the news. The Trier are one? Yes, they are. The Triads are now allied, matey. Your doctor friend is here, down in the infirmary. Ah, I'm here. The peace between the triads is now official. Good. We begin to operate from a position of strength. We will start manufacturing the swords and distributing them to our allies. What next? Versalife was crawling with troops. I think they were hiding more than sword technology down there. Tell me about the labs. Paul and I concluded that Versalife does the manufacturing, while the real research takes place in North America. Plenty of scientists. Biotech, physics, nanotech, several research divisions. It would seem we still have a mutual interest. We know they manufacture ambrosia. If you went back and gained access to the level two labs, perhaps you would find something on the Grey Death. Your brother's failure in New York has left me with nothing. You think you could find a cure? That cannot be determined until I have a schematic of the virus particle and the molecular structure of ambrosia. I'll go back, but won't they be ready for me? There's a back way at the north end of the Canal Road Tunnel, which is just east of the temple. I sent an agent in that way once. She turned up a key code to the Nanotech Research Wing, 55655, but no data. Worth a try. By the way, Versalife lost one of their R&D men in the Canal Road Tunnel collapse. A guy we think was carrying nanotech assets. He did some of the basic research that went into your implants. You might take a look, if you don't mind going for a dive. Maybe I'll check it out. Perhaps you can locate and destroy the manufacturing facilities as well. I like making things go boom, so I'm sure I'll do that. At least say my doctor friend was down there. I've been checking out the schematics you found. That's one hell of a sword. I swear he's normally stood here in front of that table. I suppose you spoke with your brother? I am pleased that he made it.
Did he lie then? Get up the ladder! Recharge the energy before we leave the base. The truth will be uneasy, but we will do our part. Please, take what you need for your next assignment. Tong will give you your next objective. No, he's not going to say the bloke's arrived again. Hmm. Oh well, I'm sure we'll see him at some point. Now, since we do have to go back to Verse Life, you could indeed go in the front door if you really wanted. I cannot believe the news. The but there's going to be lots of those cyborg guys with the machine gun arms and loads and loads of other troops. You need to have some serious balls if you're going to go in the front door. But uh, we're going to go the back way via Canal Road, just east of Tong's compound. And do the sneaky bastard approach. Free lockpick. Terrible, terrible crashed car uh, model there. Five five six five five. Fall under the pipe, jump on that. One pick? Yeah, sure. Just save that and jump in, and uh, it's going to be a long drop if we can ever find a way in the hole. Way! Hey! Thankfully, there's water below us. Otherwise, that would really hurt. So yeah, there's nothing underneath there. Surely that's the one we climb on. There we go. So yeah, just walk around on these pipes, slowly going up one pipe at a time. In we go. There is a device in here called a universal constructor. It is one of the only two devices in the world capable of producing the nanomechanical virus called the Grey Death. I require you to destroy it. Use the code 525. Look for a computer terminal somewhere in Revel 2 Lab. If you find it, I can upload the data I need through your info link. So yeah, we're just underneath the floor now. If you did come down uh, the elevator in level 2, so in the MJ-12 facility where we were last time, but straight down the elevator, it'll bring you out here. So yeah, as you can see, this was a lot easier than fighting for an entire base full of guys. You can actually sneak along down there, um, past all these blast doors. As you can see in the mirror there, that there's a bot and a cyborg. So we're just going to save. Because oh! I knew that was going to happen, because I hate these cyborg guys. Basic protection, that'd be useful.
<laughs> because the explosions went off, the blast doors have come up. You can uh, move the blast doors by pressing the buttons. But that would just mean the one behind will come up and the one behind us will come up as well. This is quite amusing. to the grenade launcher. Meat chunk that bitch. Not taking any chances. That's for increasing my death count, you bitch. Trying to keep it low, it's not going too well to plan. Things are only going to get worse as the game goes on. No, actually, we want that close. Uh, if you went underneath the blast doors, you'd be on the top bit of that, but we want to go down these stairs, so we need that that way round. Turn these cameras off. Yes, there's more bots and cyborgs coming up. As you can see on camera two just then. Save. I'm not sure where the cyborg went. Might end up killing a scientist there. Well, that's the bots dealt with. The system we're looking for is in the laboratory up ahead. Not sure if I said previously, but if you're near an EMP grenade when it goes off, you lose all your bioelectric energy. Which would obviously be a bad thing. This storage area would be a logical place to find a stockpile of the virus. I don't know why it's so empty. No, you don't, bitch. So, we already know that. That's the password for um, the UC. Turn off all the cameras so we can be a sneaky bastard. Robot maintenance. I don't know what that button does. Oh, actually, we could have disabled those things with that um, terminal there. But of course, we weren't paying attention, just used an EMP grenade. Why are those blast doors shut? Probably to use the computer, don't we? We probably could have a meaningful conversation with her before she pulls a gun. But uh, yeah, that's for giving me all the trouble I had earlier. Up yours. Oh, upgrade canister, lovely. Couple more orgs as well. That's that one we can use. 
run silent or speed enhancement, I think that's basically a no. But hold on to it for now. Because there is a bot down the bottom here. Oh! Oh! <laughs> One health left on both legs. Lucky the bot can heal me. Um, so yeah, that one we can't use. So might as well drop that. Yeah, when you talk to Maggie Chow, um, she should be making some bots appear downstairs. It's a new type of bot we haven't seen yet. They come out of those doors down there on the right of uh, where we come out. Maggie's on the left. But since we kill Maggie, they'll should come out as soon as we go into that room. That's a new one. We can install this one. So we've got Aqualung and Environmental Resistance. So the Aqualung just means we can breathe for longer underwater. Tech 4 we can allegedly stay under there indefinitely. It's probably just a really long time. And environmental resistance means we're resistant to radiation, gas grenades, that kind of shite. So both of them are quite useful. Both are also quite tempting, but I think I'll go with uh, environmental resistance this time. For a change. Let's just save. The robot's going to come out. Maybe they don't until I press the, the numbers. But either way, do not want to blow it up yet because it will blow up that room with all the augmentation canisters in it. And that would be bad. probably guess I'm going to upgrade regeneration being the best upgrade it is I'm not sure how many units per tick that does now let's get the last canister that's everything we need up here so there's constantly combat music playing I think it's because uh, those robots are activated even if they are trapped behind those doors at the moment Yeah, let's just save. I think what I'll do is I'll change shotgun to sabo rounds. Whoops. Yep, there they are. These ones are spider bots. So yeah, as you saw, they just shoot you with electricity, and they're quite annoying. They're quite small, so they can fit in vents and stuff. I just used the, the sh Sabo shell shotgun, too many S's there, because that's quite effective against bots, and particularly against spider bots, because they're not quite that armoured. Rather than wasting any of my explosives. Went pretty well. And surprisingly, they didn't do too much damage. I swear normally there's some sparks going down towards these floors, but um, we should just be able to. No, oh. oh. yeah, that floor was electrocuted. Seems to be some inventory data here. 
VersaLife has been synthesizing the Grey Death virus in great quantities. The entire stockpile has been loaded onto a super freighter going to New York. <laughs> Interesting. The previous owner of the ship was Stanton Dowd. Ever hear of the Illuminati? Come back to the compound. I have much to tell you. The Illuminati? Oh god, it's all going out of hand now, isn't it? Yeah, we're just gonna escape through this uh, tunnel. Oh, look, there's a dead man. What what happened to him? Loot him. Got some darts down here. Now, most guns will not work underwater. Which is where the crossbow comes in handy. There's a good reason why that bloke died. There's a bloody carkin down there. Am I shooting flare darts? Shit. I was. Oh god, I'm drowning. Deep breath, back down. Out of way! Oh god. There we go. Thankfully this one was stupid and somehow got stuck in the pipe so we didn't have to try dodging it around this pool. There we go, some more darts. If we were stuck in a pinch, we could just activate regeneration to um, try and counteract the drowning. But uh, we don't have any bioelectric energy at the minute, which isn't good. Let's catch our breath, go in this thing, and whoosh! Tracking down this doubt connection. Illuminati fingerprints all over the sterics. I'm talking about the molecule shape. 17 segments, 23 coupling points. Only Illuminati technicians use sleeve bearings with 34-fold and 46-fold symmetry. Multiples of 17 and 23. 17, 23... That seemed to be a bit more than a coincidence, those numbers. I assume he knows what he's talking about, because I don't have a clue. But yeah, where's this? Oh look, it's the canal we were in earlier. Now back in Canal Road. Let's just get out of that filthy water. We gotta, gotta do talk to Tong. I can actually go meet the dragon heads for drinks. So we might do that before we talk to Tong. Oh, for a minute there, I thought that was a man in black. That would have been a nasty random chance encounter. yeah I think we'll stop that episode there and next episode we'll go meet the, uh, the triad leaders for some drinks and report back to Tonk so see you then.